good Tuesday evening from the Standard Group Center here in the Kenyan capital Nairobi. It is the 14th day of January 2014. This is Katie and Brian from Ben Kitili. And I'm Nancy Kachingera. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. We're also joined by our sign language interpreter, William Silla. Great to have your company. Now, we begin tonight in the county of Siaya, where medical officials are under pressure to explain a blood shortage that has claimed the lives of several people there. The National Blood Transfusion Services is accusing the hospital of negligence. KTN's Sharon Momanya reports on the agony of families and the new worry about the amount of blood available in the country's reserves. In Siaya County, the family of the late Quinta Otieno is in mourning over the death of their loved one, which they say would have been avoided. 20-year-old Quinta bled to death while undergoing a cesarean section delivery at the Siaya Referral Hospital. The family says the blood needed to save her life was simply not available at the hospital. The doctor said there's nothing he could do because it was just a dispensary. But Kenya National Blood Transfusion Services say it is all a question of negligence. The unit that is the national custodian of all blood donated in the country says it has regional centers which supply blood to hospitals on a demand and supply basis. And CIA hospitals should simply have placed its requests in good time. Uh, they are saying at the time the patients reported to them they did not have blood in stock and their efforts to get blood in a timely manner did not work out for them. But uh, from the Regional Blood Transfusion Service, uh, we established that at least there were some 40 units that uh, if the coordination was good, would have saved those patients. The shortage of blood would be a surprise to many Kenyans who donate blood regularly or during emergencies. But even the Red Cross says the supply of blood is simply not matching what patients require. The blood that is required at the hospital level are not only during disasters. There are conditions like those people who have hemophilia, those people who have cancers, and those people who have conditions require blood on daily need. Blood can last between 35 days to a year depending on whether it is stored in its whole form or whether it is broken into its various components. These components under special conditions and they can be used to treat the special conditions like uh, let's take for example if somebody has hemophilia he does not need whole blood he needs what we call fresh frozen plasma or cryoprecipitate and that has to be ordered specifically for that patient yeah. this then means that preservation is not a big problem only the costs that come with it the World Health Organization recommends an annual blood reserve of 400,000 units for Kenya. With a population of about 40 million, this means that blood reserves would be sufficient if just 1% of Kenyans donated blood. The National Blood Transfusion Service, however, targets to collect 200,000 units of blood annually, saying that 400,000 is on the higher side, particularly as not all cases are reported to hospitals. In 2013, they collected 160,000 units and 158,000 units in 2012, 40,000 units short of their target. Those eligible to donate blood are persons aged between 16 to 65 years. But in Kenya, it is mostly school children who give blood through nationwide school blood drives. But for families like Quintesses, it is often too late. Sharon Umani, KTN.